Hey y'all, welcome to Mixed Messages. I'm Claire Ward and we are here to cheers to the Golden State. We're celebrating all things California, like the cool ingredients found here, the rich culture, and of course the breweries, wineries, and distilleries that make the booze. Today we're gonna feature a movie, a bar, a little bit of everything that encapsulates Los Angeles. It's a, a new classic, a modern classic, La La Land. The movie that famously, infamously, it's infamously this time, did not win the best picture, but it did win our hearts. La La Land features so many things that we love about this city. The movie industry, the music industry, the bar and restaurant culture, and some of our favorite landmarks. One of the landmarks featured prominently in the movie is a bar called The Lighthouse, located down in Hermosa Beach, down in the South Bay. The Lighthouse is a jazz club that's been around since the 1940s, and it's still kicking today. Some of the greatest jazz performers of all time performed there. And we actually went down recently, and one of our favorite cocktails we had was a cocktail called The Kiss Kiss, which makes sense for the movie, La La Land. It's a romantic film. It doesn't end. I shouldn't talk about the ending. Spoiler alert. So today we're gonna teach you how to make a home version of that. I do encourage you to get down to the Lighthouse Cafe if you ever have the time. They do a really fun version of this cocktail that's a little bit more intricate than what we're gonna do, but we're gonna make a fun version of it that's easy for you to do today. The Kiss Kiss is a version of a Mai Tai, which is a classic tiki cocktail and it incorporates an ingredient called orgeat. You've probably heard it before. You might have seen it in some stores. It's not something you can get at a grocery store, but you can find it at a lot of liquor stores, but we're gonna teach you how to make a really easy at home version today. So orgeat is essentially just like an almond syrup. So you start with one cup of almond milk. You wanna make sure you do unsweetened. We're gonna add one and a half cups of sugar, and then we're gonna add five drops of orange blossom water. You can get this at most of your grocery stores. It's in the bakery section. You wanna be really careful when you're adding the orange blossom water because it can be very strong, very pungent. And then just to punch up that almond flavor, we're gonna add 10 drops of almond extract. So we're just gonna give this a stir just to start the dissolving process, and then we're gonna throw it on the stove and leave it on there just until we see the sugar dissolving. We don't need to heat this up, we don't need to boil it. It might have to get to a simmer, but just till you see the sugar is fully dissolved within it, and then we'll have our orgeat. Now that we've made our orgeat and let it cool down, it's time to make a cocktail. What's fun about the Lighthouse Cafe is that this is a version of a Mai Tai, but it's utilizing whiskey. So use your favorite whiskey. There's no rules here. You can do bourbon, you can do rye, you can do American whiskey. We're gonna do one and a half ounces. Then we're gonna add a half ounce of orange liqueur. You can use Cointreau, you can use Grand Marnier, you can use Triple Sec. And then we're gonna add a half ounce of our orgeat that we made. And then we're gonna add one ounce of freshly squeezed lime juice. For this cocktail and for a lot of tiki cocktails, fresh lime juice, you can't beat it. If you're having trouble getting juice out of your citrus, you can always give it a good roll. And now we're gonna do a tiki shake called a whip shake. So we're gonna add just a little bit of our crushed ice and then we're gonna shake it till we don't hear the ice anymore. So we're gonna leave our shaking rules behind of shaking hard and fast, but still keep the rhythm, but just until you don't hear the ice. And then we're gonna fill our glass with crushed ice. Now we're gonna garnish it with a little bit of cinnamon, and then we're gonna garnish with some fresh mint. Always take your mint, give it a little slap on your hand to wake up the oils. And voila, we have our Kiss Kiss, our home version of our Kiss Kiss. Lee, thank you so much for sharing this recipe with us. It is absolutely delicious, summery vibes, it's so refreshing. I definitely wanna be drinking this by the beach. I think I might have to head down to the lighthouse again. Please like and comment if you like this video. If you have any questions about the recipe, please let us know. If there's an ingredient or something about California that you love, let us know and we'll feature it on Mixed Messages. Thanks for watching and cheers, y'all.